Welcome to the ship to nowhere. While countries all around the world are entering their second lockdown, the hard work and dedication of Singapore are paying off. Today is Friday, November 6th, and it's the first time that I will leave Singapore in over eight months. There are zero or just very few locally transmitted COVID-19 cases here per day. As such, this is the first cruise part of the pilot by the Singapore Tourism Board, which was authorized to see whether cruises are possible under strict safety measures during the pandemic. Boarding was at the Marina Bay Cruise Terminal. Our ship, the World Dream, has a capacity of 3,400 passengers, but on this cruise, only 1,400 were on board. I had received three different check-in times from Genting by email, and this lack of clear information for passengers led to a chaotic check-in process. These so-called Singapore domestic cruises, or cruises to nowhere, depart and arrive back in Singapore without stopping anywhere along the way. All right, we checked in and now we have to go to get our... Covid testing! Covid testing, <laughs> yay! Are you excited? Uh, not as likely, but let's see. Okay. <laughs> the whole check-in and boarding took close to three hours. Even though the Covid testing and waiting for results was only about 20 minutes. We had to spend a good part of these three hours in a hot, stuffy parking garage as things were running behind schedule. Not really a nice way to start your vacation this way. But let's get back to the positives. Here are three innocent bystanders who can't wait to get on the ship. Finally, time for the COVID test. This was a different test than I got last time. It does not go as deep into the nose and it did not hurt. It just tickles. <laughs> Thank you. All right, how was the swab test? It was okay, it was not too bad. Not too bad, okay. How did it feel? It feels a little ticklish. Okay. But if you relax, you actually could get through. This is another ship from Royal Caribbean. They will offer similar Singapore domestic cruises starting in December. The result is negative! <laughs> Everyone on the ship got a Trace Together token. This is a Bluetooth-based system that Singapore uses for contract <laughs> contact tracing. Okay, finally done with the whole procedure. It took, I don't know, two, three hours. I don't know, but we are boarding the ship now. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you. I had booked the balcony stateroom, which costs roughly $800 for single occupancy or $1,200 for double occupancy. This is inclusive of the two COVID tests. We still have a few hours before departure, so let's explore the ship. There are many sporting activities. There's a climbing wall, ping pong, rope scores, gym, which we did not use, and basketball. Enjoy this unique view of beautiful Singapore. On board, I bought the classic beverage pass. For 95 Sing dollars, this pass includes water, juice, soft drinks, coffee, tea, beer, and wine for the entire cruise. You can of course pay per beverage, but in my opinion, this pass is worth it. It even includes fancy people's sparkling water. I'm gonna pretend to be of that crowd. Cheers! <laughs> cruising, cruising. We're all in the same boat to nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? Nowhere. 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 <laughs> How long does it take us to go nowhere? Two days. 
two days to nowhere. Well, no, one and a half day to nowhere and then one and a half day back. Here's an outdoor movie theater, cool. And it's dinner time! There are three dining places on the ship which are free. Well, included in the ticket price. And seven more fine dining restaurants which are chargeable. On our first evening, we had dinner at the Lido, which is a buffet style. Food was pretty good. I had Indian vegetarian. And at 9 p.m. sharp, we left Singapore. The next morning, we woke up to this. We went to the Dream Dining Upper Room, which has Chinese set menus. The veggie meal was just okay. Okay, rain has stopped. And we are cruising up the Strait of Malacca. We spent most of the morning by the pool. And by pool, I actually mean the bar. I hear me now toast to the greatest company on the same boat yeah. to nowhere. Uh, a boat that is en route to where we came from. And served by one of the best waiters of the boat, Anthony, my man. <laughs> Cheers to the great experience, the great games, the great company, and a lot of great people, and a lot of future long-term friendships. All right. All right. Where are we going? Cheers. To eat. Have lunch. Have another one. We did not go directly to eat. Oh. Will we eat first? Yeah, let's eat first. Oh. No, you shouldn't drink this first. This is not to go up. This, this is the sun. This, this is the bowl. You suck this. It's complicated. Yo, so now this is my vlog. I'm taking over. Are you SPG Travels? <laughs> I am NL Travels. <laughs> and hey, Nederland. Goeiedag allemaal. Goeiedag. Een hele fijne verjaardag. Dankjewel. Hot or not? Sorry, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> The Dream Dining Lower Room serves Western food in set menus. It was delicious, but we had to wait close to an hour for the meal. And service was poor. In fact, poor customer service was something that unfortunately overshadowed our experience throughout the cruise. To be fair, some staff did go above and beyond but this was rather the exception. You can get all the Singapore delights on this ship. This beautiful lady, wow, that's a, that's a, that's crazy. Everybody wave. In this day of hygiene vigilance, I felt odd that you still have frequent touch points such as to open the doors and every time you wanted to get a drink, be it a bottle of water, you have to physically sign the bill even though the balance is zero. Later that afternoon, we had our one hour reserved slot for the pool. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Look at how happy we are! What are they doing? Hold your breath and... Three! Smile! <laughs> Later we tried the slides and I got myself stuck. And for dinner, we went back to Lido. More Indian food! And then our second day on the boat came to an end. Next morning when we woke up, we were already entering back into Singapore. Even though our slot to leave the ship was only at 11.15, 
We were at breakfast by nine, and it was already closed. We had to beg the staff just to get a simple bowl of cereal. Ayo. After breakfast, we had some time to kill before our time to deplane. I mean, um, de ship. So we explored a bit more. Here is a publicly accessible area from where you can see the bridge. This is like the cockpit of a plane. Pretty cool. And here you can see the route we sailed. We got about halfway up to KL. All right, we are kindly being asked to leave the ship. Try to barricade ourselves, but not possible. Now, overall, there are five things I would recommend for Genting to work on. One, an easier booking process. Clear and non-contradicting information for passengers before the cruise, including in English. Three, a bit more of customer service orientation. Four, more flexibility on board for example, on the dining hours. And five, the payment system on board needs an overhaul. It sometimes took 10 to 15 minutes just to pay for a simple bottle of water. And there was one more COVID test on arrival. Uh, oh. In my last video on the Singapore Airlines A380 dining experience, I announced a giveaway of the goodies bag I received in business class. This giveaway will be published on my YouTube and Instagram channels on Wednesday, November 18th at 9 p.m. Singapore time. I will ask five questions based on my past videos and the first one to answer all three questions correctly is the winner. Just a small hint. Try to become familiar with my five all-time most watched videos on YouTube. You can see these by going onto my channel's homepage, clicking on videos, and sorting by most popular. In summary, there were plenty of things that did not go smooth, but I loved this cruise. It was nice just to get out, do something different, be in a different setting, and spend time with wonderful friends. Now enjoy the sunset in the Malacca Strait.